what's going on guys so i think this is going to wrap up part two of the build i'm waiting on glue to dry and i forgot some things at the store so um let me get you up to speed here with what we got going on so in here we have the other frame wall this was kind of a afterthought so i ordered the wood on my last shop i used like vintage slats of wood they're actual 100 mil 100 year old scraps from a lumber yard and this guy on etsy cuts them and makes them into whatever size so ordered all that last night he has shipped it today or at least put a label on it today so we're probably still hopefully by the end of the week uh, this weekend i'll have that uh on all my other shops i build the wall i start with a flat piece and then i'll do the slats and then i'll do all this on top of it nail it through and quick and easy so <laughs> with the brick having the wall in front of the brick the frame in front of the brick i did that wasn't really going to work so this is mock-up of what we're going to do this was a test piece uh, i did this for a class at uste this year on shop weathering and it's going to be these kind of slats I got some different kinds of wood. See, I've got a lot of different kinds in there. I went with the lighter stuff because the grain's more prominent. Um, I noticed in my other shop that the grain had gotten a little dark and it uh, yeah, didn't show as much detail as I'd hoped. So I went with a lighter wood with a lot of grain. And uh, yeah, still gonna use a dark stain because we want this to look like a dingy warehouse. So that's why I'm doing it that way, mainly because I don't have that stuff in yet. Um, it worked, <laughs> don't get me wrong. Gluing it all onto that thin piece and I was able to break it free, bending that quarter inch plywood off of it. And then I was able to slide it over here and stand it up and nail it from the bottom. Um, so I missed a couple times, but yeah, who cares? I put some more in from the front, got this thing pretty straight. Once we uh, get our walls made and we start hooking everything to the back and we're just gonna nail from the front to the back We'll clip off whatever sticks through. Um, I was hoping to go with that quarter inch stuff for the walls, and that way it won't be as heavy. This piece I actually just happens to fit perfect on the width of the bricks. Um, you see the back side of the bricks does not look pretty at all. I saved myself some time when weathering all this wood. Um, I, I marked them all backside. It only rounded two sides and, and beat up three. I'm trying to uh, save, give, save myself a little bit of work. Um, I did discover something. So that balsa, that is a balsa wood steps. And I sanded them down, trying to make them look worn. They're they're drastically thinner here in the front. Those do not take stain very well, that, that material. I don't know what it is. This is the raw piece of it. It has, it's super lightweight. You know, I build airplanes out of balsa. I mean, that is, has no weight to it. It didn't like the stain. Stain wouldn't get down in those little cracks, you can see. And that's two coats. So that's just what we're going to rock with that because I'm not going to redo the stairs because that was not as much fun to make as I thought it would be. Um, the door. So obviously I only have six windows and that was another disappointing thing. I got these on Amazon. I've already stained them. They have a really neat look to them. Um, they're going to go through the wall with the slats. So I'm going to mark and cut those and they'll be mounted into that. They didn't come with any glass. So we're going to get some Lex in and make, make some windows out of that. You know, I'm just making this up as I go. I started this when I did the first side, I had to reverse it because I had that mocked up with the uh, back sides up. So I knew I had it laid out the way it needed. When I put it in here, I didn't reverse this one. So I had to pull this out from here and stick it on this end because this is going to tie in. That was an existing beam I had left over from, I think this shop, one of these bigger things up here and uh so yeah our corner post of the building is larger than the other post and we're gonna just pretend that the other three corners are there and they're the same thickness because <laughs> this is only going to be two sides and uh yeah so you can see that one's got a little a little more mass to it that's uh, the, these are half inch square all of these that's slightly bigger i don't know i don't know what size it was but <laughs> it's not a big deal so I've got that measured. I've already forgotten and didn't write that down. I think it's 16 by 24, 23 we can get, get away with. And then we'll cover those when our slats. We're gonna put our windows up high because I'm going for a warehouse look. Let me grab one. Think in. I'm gonna do three per side up high. Um, I would like to do 
one on this corner, but we're only going to have three. So we'll leave that one blank and go from there. Sorry, it's hard to move around in here. This place is a train wreck. Got the air hose, got all this woodworking stuff out. <laughs> I'm going to keep walking around like we're the Blair Witch Project. So you're probably asking yourself, what are you going to do with the floor? Because the floor is just wood and you don't have wood floors in warehouses. I may have mentioned it in the other video. I ordered an epoxy kit. We're gonna do an actual epoxy floor with the sprinkles and all that jazz. It's gonna stink. I uh, probably have to, I don't know if I can do that outside or not. Depends on the weather. But I wanted to do a real floor. So we're gonna to have to, um, I've siliconed the bricks on. You saw that at the beginning of this video. I've siliconed that corner up and I'm going to wood glue the steps into place once we get a little bit further along with the door. I, I even considered trying to put a drain in the floor and make a little grate or something. But the, the epoxy, I've got to build a wall on these two sides so it can stand in here and level out. Also, I need to make sure that this is actually level. I mean, we're in a storage building that's sitting on blocks on some soft soil. I know after I started building this shop that it shifted a little bit, so I know things aren't perfectly level. So we're going to have to, like, shim this thing up perfectly level and uh, go from there. Let me see how far off level it is right now. Yeah, we're going to need some leveling. It's just a hair low on this end. This side's a couple hairs more. So <laughs> the building does have a slope that direction, it seems like. But I think that about wraps it up for this episode. Uh, like I said, I, I really need to let the other structure wall dry because I, I don't have bar a, a, a post on the end. So I've got three pieces that are just hanging out in the wind. So they really have to be dry before I even try to stand it up. Cause I'm gonna have to try to nail all that down and glue three things to that corner <laughs> at the same time. It's gonna be great. We can do it. This is the size of the door. The door is gonna go here. It's gonna look like a metal door, like a giant steel warehouse door. So my plan is with this is I'm gonna, I'm gonna add some reinforcement to it and get some kind of cool looking like latch or lever mechanism. It's not gonna open, obviously. I'm not gonna go that far with it. But I'm gonna use, I'm gonna make it look like it's riveted. Like the, the reinforcements riveted around. I don't know where I've seen it. I think it was in the 90s on a stupid soap opera when I was a little kid. I mean, in the 80s, I don't know. It, somebody lived in a loft in some warehouse and that's just, it, that image is burned into my head of that door. And it had a giant metal latch like a car door and it slid to the side. This one obviously won't open or slide because it's there, but that's the look, the style. I've got it in my head. It's gonna look distressed and, and it's gonna look like steel and it's gonna look like it weighs a ton. That's the best. All right, and last thing, talk about lighting. So in my other scale shop, I'm not sure if you can see them up there, I use these those little halogen spotlights like you would put inside of an art nook in your fancy house to shine on your sculpture. Um, they get super hot. You can see that one, I, I, you can't see it from that angle. I actually cut up an, a silicone oven mitt and put it between the wood and the light because it was getting the wood so hot. I was afraid the stain was gonna catch on fire because of course it was still wet when I put it together. But so I found these on Amazon. I That's the thing with this, I want warm lighting. Let me plug that other one in so you can see. This is what I used in the other shop. It's a very, very warm light. It's very correct for the space. Um, I'm knocking all kinds of stuff off the table. So I wanted that again, but you cannot get those anywhere. When I bought this set for this shop, they were discontinued. I got the last one that was on Amazon and the package was all beat up. Lowe's and Home Depot have all gone LED. So that's what we got here. They, it is a warm, a warm light. Let me put this in. I only got two of them. They come in two and six. Uh, they're not terribly expensive. I think the two was like 12 bucks. Six is only like 30. Come on. So it is an actual warm light. Um, LED, it's a little bit thinner. That's about enough talking. I'm gonna let this stuff dry. Turn the air conditioner back on. It is hot and humid here. We got some storms coming tonight, so we'll see how that goes. But yeah, stay tuned for more guys. Keep it scale and I'll see you in the next video.